So we're. Hello? Is anybody there? Anybody there? Anybody? If you can hear me, that okay. Um, so this is the redo of the file. Um, I'm just skipping through all the beginning text because I found out that first playthrough I did that I didn't even get into gameplay yet it took an hour. So I'm not playing that over again. I'm pretty sure you remember exactly what happened. You met your cute, adorable little niece who has a thing for TV at Junis, which is a local convenience store, which is pretty much like Walmart for this game, um, although not super changed. Um, Nanako's father, Dojima, is a detective for the police agency. You had your first day of school, and you met a whole bunch of hot chicks. You tried to get a threesome, and uh, we were going to continue from there. Oh, and someone got killed. And was found hanging on a uh, um, antenna. TV antenna on top of someone's roof. Yes, someone was murdered and found on top of a TV antenna on someone's roof. And I opened the fridge, there was fried rice, and I'm gonna eat that shit. It has no taste at all. Strange. Well, I hope I don't get food poisoned. Murder! So, this is what it looks like when, so when you have a save game plus, you get a little flower for your save file, and it's pink. Isn't that just dandy? And then I'm going to go upstairs. So the benefits of um, save data. Okay, no, I can't do anything. The benefits of save data plus for new game plus is I think I carry over all the data that I've collected on personas, all my social links. Uh, my relationships with other characters carries over. So I don't have to start those relationships from scratch. And I've already maxed out quite a few of the social links, and I've gotten pretty darn close to maxing out some of those social links. Um, so if that's the case, I'm going to proceed and, because there are some social links that, for example, one, early on in the game, I have a chance to either join the basketball team or the soccer team. If I join the basketball team, then I'm locked out of the soccer team social link. If I join the soccer team, I'm locked out of the basketball team social link. So for my first playthrough, I did soccer team. So I'm going to do basket, uh, uh, basketball team. So I'm going to do soccer team this this time around. And I think I had a choice between um, acting, uh, theater club, art club, or something like that. And I did theater club. So I'm going to try to do the other social link. And then I missed out on a couple of the job social links too because I had a tutoring job and then a babysitting job and all that other stuff. Instead of the tutoring and the babysitting I took late night shift at a creepy hospital as a janitor where I met a really hot nurse. It was so awesome. She had it for me. But I was too dumb. But it's cool though. It was creepy. And then the invisible man. Now I'm just gonna uh, rush. Hmm, it seems that you see a little despite the frog. I see that you possess interest in blood. So easily, if it is what you see with you, then you say to the auto. Catch me now, bitch. Miss. Everyone sees what they want to. Never go any deeper. Will it meet again? I play it's other than here? Mm -hmm. I look forward to it. You're losing consciousness in your dream. Ellipses. Oh man, if you die in the game, you die in real life. It's Tuesday the second. It's partly cloudy. Good night, Breakfast, Johnny. It's almost time to get it up. Well, what's this? Toast, bacon, and eggs? 
Nanako, if you weren't like seven, I would marry you. Oh, toast. I just put my toast in the oven. Okay. My family's poor. Like me. Oh, you betcha. Do you do? Did your father go to work? There was some kind of trouble. He won't be back. Aw. From outer space. Yes, and now you're off. You know what movie I realized that I really liked that I didn't think I was gonna like, but I kinda wanna own now? Ice Age 3. And also I noticed something in movies, especially when it's just like talking animal movies, and I consider Ice Age a talking animal movie, even though it's animals that don't exist anymore, aside from the sloth and stuff. Um, mammals and stuff are always considered all the nice, you know, nice and nice. Yeah, nice and nice. Like, they're the good guys. Wow, and it's reptiles and velociraptors, anything that eats meat, those are bad guys. And they're brutal, they're like, Vicious, ferocious, idiotic, and stuff. Seems kind of unfair. Same with like cats and dogs, which I hated in both the movies. Cats and dogs was a retarded movie, just sort of cashing on a, on pet lovers. But cats and dogs, how dogs were instantly like instantly the good guys because they're man's best friends, and all of a sudden cats are automatically evil because they're cats and they're independent. And uh, it, it's kind of silly. Like and don't get me started on Land Before Time, how all the plant years were just tree-hugging, exactly as Ball said, tree-hugging hippies and like, Oh, we gotta go get the star leaf because it will make us happy and we'll survive forever, friends for life. And all of a sudden the Tyrannosaurus Rex who has a brain the size of a pea pops in and like, Oh, I'm hungry! Because he's just trying to survive. That's what the T-Rex has to do to survive. He has to eat a transfer thing from the city. Huh? Yeah. I wonder how many land four times there have been. Because there have been like nine of them, right? Nine or ten of those movies. I, I'm s yeah. I'm still waiting for Land Before Time 13. Here comes the meteor. I'm Kinjiro Moraoka. First things first. Okay, right. So, <laughs> as you recall, your new student in now the hallway, Mr. Moraoka, is kind of an asshole. Um, so, been thrown, and he's just as much of a he called me a loser, and I'm like, fuck you and your fucking toupee. You're a bitch. And they're about like, oh, <laughs> snap! They're on my shit list. Effective immediately. Now I'm all like, hey man, you're on my sh shit list. Effective now. And your goddamn toupee. Now listen Bam. up. This town is miles away from your big city. Yeah, yeah. You Perverts and assholes. Just like your mom. I know. I've seen her. She goes on and on. Uh, excuse me. Is it okay if the transfer student sits here? She is sensing my pheromones because I will tell you this. All the main characters of the personas, huh? um, they have yeah, pheromones sure. of the gods. Yeah. Women cannot there. resist them. It's just dead. It's impossible. Oh, so she's already got a tickly, tickly feeling in her naughty bits and invites you to sit next to her because she won't feel so lonely. And her friends will stop accusing her of being it's gay. The worst, huh? Rotten luck for you to get stuck in this class. Well, we'll just have to hang in there for a year. Bowl cut, just, you know, besides the bowl cut, she's kind of cute. She looks like she might be American. Like she's the blonde girl out of the entire bunch. Technically, even though her hair is really white and brown, it's almost like a dirt, deep, deep blonde. And her so mannerisms kind of drip American. So it's trying yeah, really hard to be a Japanese. You twice about suspending you if you get yeah, that pretty much. Guy. Pretty much. And then again. Shut your trap! Yeah, yeah. We're skipping this. Do, do, do. That 
Yeah, we know. Everybody wrong. And I wonder why she's the only one who gets away with not wearing her uh, uniform completely. She gets away with wearing the green jersey while everybody else is in uniform. And I think, in fact, everybody in your group can be identified because they're not in their uniform, except for Yosuke. Yosuke wears his uniform. But like Chie and Yukiko, they don't wear their shirts that they're supposed to wear. They wear like that vibrant red and that gigantic, huge green. This guy's hey, like, so Yukiko, give me your digits. I'll show you a nice time. And Yukiko's like, get off my bed. Yeah, I guess not. I'm a carpet muncher. And then he runs away scared. And she is like, hey, brother, let me get some digits. Sorry, I really shouldn't be making fun of this game. I love this game to death. Damn, I don't feel like playing Star Ocean because Star Ocean Re is still a very enjoyable game. I enjoy the RPG. But anyway, as you remember, there's an incident. So the kids are all in a panic and they're like, "Oh my God, I want to go home and stuff." Chie and Yukiko invite you to walk home because you're like stuff. Well, uh, this is you. Yeah, yeah. Skippity skip skip. Oh, what's this? The boy who screwed up in his junk in a bike while bike riding broke Chie's DVD. Uh, what was it? Um, Ray the Dragons? Stop right there! What did you do to my DVD? Bam! Not shot. What the? I can't believe this! It is so Oh man! You know what I just noticed? And I've watched this scene maybe three times. She actually kicks Yosuke in the nuts before she even sees what he's done to the DVD. That's not even fair. That's mine's corrected. We're gonna go get to the net. That's man. Come on, girls, really? Seriously, I, I'm pretty sure in the world. It will make it guy rule that will stop hitting on you in bars if you promise to never not shot us anymore. Just don't kick us in the balls anymore and I promise, I promise we won't give you that drunken stare in bars. We won't hit on you anymore while you're just hanging out with your friends and just trying to dance it out. Just please, don't, don't make all of us wear protective cups. And here comes this creeper Yuki, <laughs> who's got fish eyes and is like, hey there, hey there. Yuki, I'll be seeing nice. you. You want to go out sometime? What's up with him? No. And then all of his bros are hanging out and like, come oh, on. So, are, are you coming or not? Perfect example of how he screwed up the ass gouts. You never get impatient and just try to play dumb and play pushy. That's major trick. We're at the ask him to go back to step one and try this again tomorrow. Fine. And then he acts really sissy. I don't have to deduct points on his dismount. He didn't take the manly way out. He started crying and then ran away. He put his tail between his what legs. Did he, want from me? he wanted your panties. What did he want? Obvious. Duh. Huh? Yukio is Is obviously, you know. Huh? Well, are you serious? Mm -hmm. So then you want to hang out sometime? 